Greetings all. It's Wednesday, July the 27th. And here is today's solar watch. As you can see, solar activity is ramping up. We can count here within the last day or so. One, two, three, four, five, six C class, six C -class solar flares. And then we uh, topped off with an M class here. And you can look at the X-ray graph. It's going up. And that's most likely due to these new sunspots that are emerging. New sunspots 1260 and 1261 pose a growing threat for M-class flares. Now, just a few minutes ago, I was on here and it said only C-class flares. Let's see if they've upgraded their forecast. No, it's still only a 5% chance of M-class flare here, so... <clears throat> Take a look at solar wind. Pretty low right now. 341.2 km and 0.1 protons, not dense at all. Here you can see the sunspots that are emerging. Aurora oval is pretty much standard as always. Not quite as strong right now. Geomagnetic activity has been low for quite a while. We'll take a look at SOHO. Yeah, you can see here. Geomagnetic activity has been very low for six, seven days now. We'll have a look at a couple of the LASCOs here. Everybody's talking about LASCO C3 and what we're seeing on it. Let's give it a look. Here is the object in question. And you'll notice there is this black spot here. Now there's many theories going on about this. Some say that it's Nibiru. Some say it's Jupiter. I believe Space Weather said it was Venus. But this is suspect right here. Some are saying that this is a wormhole and this came through the wormhole, you know. Who knows? Discern for yourself, everybody. We'll have a look at C2 really quick. Now you can see there was a CME here. Right there, it goes off. This was most likely the M-class flare. And you can count the spotless days here. You'll notice the current stretch is zero days. Our 2011 total is only one day without a sunspot. Whereas the 2010 total was 51 days, 2009 total was 260 days. So what is this telling you? More noctilucent cloud galleries. So, that'll conclude today's solar watch. And again, solar activity is ramping up. So, if these sunspots continue to grow, and they, there is a possibility that they may even merge, we may be faced with another Earth-facing X-class solar flare in the next coming week or so. Be well, everybody.